The transport industry in Cape Town is in shock after the Suzui Kobokwana, leader of the Democratic Congress Taxi Associations. Kobokwana, 55, the head of Route 1 between Kailitsha, Winburg and Claremont, was shot multiple times his vehicle on Tuesday evening in front of his home on Dorado Road, the Coles River. According to an eyewitness, a silver-gray Mercedes C200 Sport was seen speeding through the nearby streets with its two passengers. Kobokwana was returning from work with Ford Becky when he was approached by two suspects who had opened fire on him. The witness told Daily Maverick that about eight shots were fired as he tried to drive Kobokwana vehicle away from the scene, but crashed into wall of his home. Read on the Daily Maverick New Western Cape Mobility Mac Ricardo McKenzie, confident he can curb the Santoko taxi strike. The Ofkobokwana took place more than a year after the Ofkodita leader Mzoxolo Cecil Dibila. The 45-year-old taxi operator, who owns a taxi on the Somerset West Kailitsha route, was found with gunshot wounds on Manubisi Beach in Kailitsha. At Daily Maverick, a solid leader, Cape Town shaken by Kodita taxi boss, the entire minivan taxi industry is still in shock by Kobukwanis, said Kodita spokesman Andal Kenny. We don't know what led to this, and it has taken us by surprise. We hope the police will shed some light because there has been no violence in the industry for a while. The last few years have been turbulent for the Cape Town taxi industry, with ongoing disagreements among operators over lucrative routes and leadership struggles. In 2021 Codita and Cape Amalgamated Taxi Association entered into a dispute over operating rights of B97 taxi route between Bequini and Belleville taxi station in Powell. Kenny did not want to speculate on motive for and requested that privacy be given to family in moment of grief. Speculation can lead to violence we don't want. Let the police investigate this case, maybe they will tell us who is responsible for this. Police spokesman Commissioner Joseph Swartboy confirmed that Mfulini police responded to a complaint on Tuesday, April 4, 2023, and when they arrived at the scene on Dorado Street around 7.30 p.m., they found the gunshot body of a 55-year-old man. Wounds Health teams determined that the person who came to the scene lost his life. He added that the Mfulini police are investigating a case and request anyone with information to call Crime Stop on 0860010111.